Hey guys, so if you watched the Death Valley video, uh, in there I said I had a dream shot in mind, which is a Milky Way over some sand dunes. So tonight we're going to try to go to the sand dunes, which is between uh, Vegas and Death Valley, and try to get a cool shot of those sand dunes. Uh, the issue is the full moon is out tonight, so in a way it's going to help because it's going to eliminate all of the sand dune complex, which is huge. Uh, it's impossible to kind of light paint everything, so the the full moon is going to give us a natural light for all these sand dunes, but we won't be able to see the Milky Way in the shot. Uh, sadly, for the Milky Way, it's going to have to be a composite, which I'm usually against, but I will make sure that the picture for the foreground is um, at a scientifically correct angle, so uh, whenever we put the Milky Way in there, it will be just as it's supposed to be in real life. Okay, so let's make our bag. I'm going to carry one bag uh, all the way to the top of the sand dunes. I will have my water in there, a GoPro, uh, my Canon RA, and uh, two lenses. And once we get there, uh, I will use the drone to kind of scout the location and see where I should stand. Uh, I will also give Dahlia uh, the drone here so she can kind of follow me around uh, as I climb the, the sand dunes. And I will also give her this uh, huge telephoto lens to kind of snipe me from the bottom and take some nice uh, nice shots. So uh, we'll go there and then hopefully we'll have some nice pictures. Let's go. We have some sand dunes between Vegas and Death Valley. It is pretty dark out there, although we won't really see the stars tonight because of the full moon. We're going right there. Can you see it? Oh. Hopefully we don't get stuck on the way. I already like, don't like this. Look how deep I, know. I fell without even any pressure. Hopefully when we do you turn it. It's gonna be a, a risk. Anyway, I have to hurry up. I'm gonna climb there and then uh, while it's too sunny. Uh, we're gonna take the drone out really quick just to find a path. I don't know where to shoot from, so I'm going to use a drone really quick and see um, what's best for the angle and all that. So uh, let's do that. Okay, so I have no choice because the sand is too bad for the drone, so I'm going to try to launch it from here, from the car. Alright, let's go. Let's go quick before it's too dark and to find out okay so time is gonna be a long walk <laughs> it's gonna be a very long walk yeah for me it's actually perfect I can get a picture from here hopefully this is south southeast so the Milky Way rises from here I'm hoping if it's okay then here is perfect Alright guys, so I think we found the perfect location uh, with a drone, so if I just stand right there uh, at the top there, which is pretty much at the peak of the sand dunes, I will have this view here. And as you can see, it's a pretty good view. Um, I'm going to be pretty low of course, but um, hopefully it's going to be good. So I'm hoping to get a nice picture here. And this, I, I believe this is the east slash, slash south, so the Milky Way should rise from there, I'm hoping. Alright, here it comes. I gotta land on the car now. Yes! <laughs> I did it. Alright, time for me to go, babe. Okay, so I'm climbing now. My only issue is that there is some. Uh like buggies and bikes on the dunes, so I hope they see me and don't kill me <laughs> accidentally. And I also hope they stop soon because I don't want all their tracks on my pictures. So hopefully they stop soon. Luckily for me, 
the uh, the stand here is pretty strong it's pretty firm so it's really good so i have no issue walking it's pretty awesome all right The sand quickly became much softer as I got higher. Look what I found. A beetle. Pretty cool. Hopefully there's no snakes around. But there's like mini beetles here. Look, one more flying. I set up my camera and took a few test shots here and there, but was never satisfied with how the foreground looked, so I kept running back and forth while it was still daytime until I found the perfect angle. So I have a nice angle here, but um, I'm not really a fan of um, those tracks here. Uh, maybe if I go more this way, I'll be able to get a better angle. Not really sure. Um, let's try. Okay, I think it's better here. Uh, look at this. All right. So I'm going to wait until it's dark. I have no idea how else I can... <gasps> oh my God, you guys, I'm learning something. Ah! Oh my God. Look at this tiny baby. It's Twan. Aww. Oh, look at him. He's so tiny. Oh, he's taking some great pictures of the dunes. So sorry for my shaky hands, you guys. But my goodness, what a lovely evening we have tonight with the moon in the sky providing some excellent light for us. But wow, a friend in the distance. <gasps> Wait, wait. We're gonna learn something again. <gasps> Ooh. Those are some cool guys. They sure do have some balls that I do not. Oh, back to Twan, back to Twan. There he is. Mo little little baby little baby swan Hello You good? Yeah. Oh, it's me. You're seeing it right now? Yeah, wave to me. Hi, Twan. <laughs> you look like an ant. Alright guys, now it is completely dark. Uh, I'm taking a few pictures here. Hopefully the focus is good. And uh, besides that... I confirmed that the stars I was seeing are rising from the east and the Milky Way should rise right from there, so it's a good angle. So it's actually perfect. And the moon is kind of helping uh, with some light on the right here. So I got some nice pictures with both the 15mm lens and the 14mm lens. I mostly used the wide lens to make a three-panel mosaic that you can see here, which was taken early in the night. Alright guys, I think I'm done. Uh, it's getting windy. It's all dark now, so I'm gonna take my stuff. 
hopefully I'll be there in less than 20 minutes and Dahlia should be there waiting for me so let's go it's pretty scary going down like that super steep can't see anything it's pretty crazy guys Ooh, insects I like that all right guys so um, it was a pretty fun adventure uh, Dahlia had some great skills with a drone I think it was our like second time using it and the first time it was like for five seconds so I'm glad she got uh, the drone up. Hopefully there's some nice shots. I'm just glad that my video game hands have worked for me because I don't think that that would have been as easy if I didn't know. So um, I'm really hoping the shots sound out really good. Uh, it was really scary up there at night. Um, yeah, I had no down. idea how you came down. I was throwing the drone. I had no idea where I was going. Oh really? Yeah. Oh then I'm glad I didn't land. Because I was going this way at first. I was like, <laughs> where am I going? And I, I saw the drone going this way, so I went this way. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to land it and get Antoine as, as he was on his way back. So, I mean, it worked out. So, I can't even see anything now. From what I, I think, the Milky Way should rise exactly in my shot. Uh, the problem is tonight the moon is up, so that's why we didn't... Uh, we had really to put no it in, in composition. So, uh, if you guys don't think this is true enough for a good picture, then let me know in the comments and we'll come back on an actual Milky Way night. I uh, just hope the, the foreground will be good enough because the foreground without the moon uh, might be very, very dark and I cannot really light paint the foreground because it's so huge and long. So hopefully uh, this composition will look nice. And um, here it I is. So. Three, two, one, boom. Does it look good? I hope. <laughs> I don't know. All right. So we'll see you guys next time. And clear Peace skies. Guys. This image will be available for 10 days only on our new print store when it goes online on June 18. We will have 9 of our favorite images at affordable prices, including a digital bundle full of wallpapers for just 5 bucks. It would mean the world to us if you check it out. You can also sign up for updates by clicking on the link below.